excuse me. <laughs> um, hi everyone, um, Alistair Green, um, uh, three foot one, auditioning for the role of Jill in Jack and Jill went up the hill, joking. Um, just uh, humour, a little bit of humour. Um, Alistair Green and I am uh, auditioning uh, for the role of James Bond. Um, so um, just in terms of what I can bring to the role, um, I can do action, um, although at the moment I've got a sort of injury on my elbow because I googled Jason Statham workout and I went to the gym and lifted quite a light weight above my head and so it's quite severely damaged my elbow, I actually think it's quite serious. Um, I haven't seen anyone about it because I can't bother. But um, um, yeah, apart from that, with the right sort of trainers and personal trainers and perhaps nutritional experts, I think that's a hurdle I can jump over, go under, and just complete the whole assault, assault course, climbing up the, that thing as well, and take the trophy at the end if that's what's required for the role. Well, I wouldn't have thought it is. But anyway. Um, yeah, as I mean, it wouldn't be a very good Bond film for one thing if it just went through in the sort course, but you need the bad ears, which I'm also happy to do if I don't, if I'm not, if I'm not successful in my application for the role of James Bond, I would be happy to consider, and I'm not saying I'll definitely say yes, um, a role of a baddie, um, such as uh, Dr. No in the James Bond film, um, Mr. No, or uh, the role of Goldfinger in the James Bond film, um, Gold, uh, Hat, gold, golden hand. So, um, so I'll be happy to, um, you know, just um, try my best. And in a minute, um, I'm going to audition for you the role. Um, I, I'm also, um, as well as action, as I say, slight injury at the moment, so I can't guarantee I'll be able to do it. But um, um, uh, uh, as well as action, I'm also very good with comedy because um, I understand that James Bond um, quite often does quips. So I'm happy to, if you sort of provide me with the script. I mean, I know that um, I, this isn't, you know, I, you haven't actually asked me to audition, but I just thought I'd self-tape because you can't, you can't accumulate without s and connect, can guess like estimating. So, and I will be sending this self-tape um, to you at uh, the studio in the hope that someone will read it. I've just addressed it to the execs. This is crazy. This is Hollywood. I mean, I'm in, I'm in Deptford at the moment, but I just mean where you are, or well, you might be in England, but um, you can't speculate without accumulating or accumulate without speculating. I can't remember which, but um, basically I just thought, frig it. I'm going to do an audition for James Bond. I'm going to send it off. And you hear these stories that, you know, famously um, Tom Cruise, like, just said to someone, can I be in Top Gun? And they said, yeah. So that's like, that's like, there's many examples of that. Like, um, like Brad Pitt just said, can I be in, you know, a, a Brad Pitt film or, you know, and they said, yes. So you've got to like, I just feel like I'm taking the ball by the horns, as it were, and swinging it around the china shop and then throwing it in the bullseye of a dartboard. Um, so I'm just gonna um, uh, give you a couple, of, um, a couple of lines, basically. I haven't, as I say, you haven't actually sent me the script or anything like that, but I'm gonna um, go for it now and kind of what I think, in the direction I think that the Bond film should go in. Um, so it would be um, something, uh, something like this. You're big, yeah. You are sh fuck you. You, you're as bad as you're as bad. You're as bold as brass, buddy. And you're about to learn a valuable lesson. I'm gonna pop. I'm gonna polish you into next week. And that one is just kind of like at that point the bad guy, doc, the bad guy, Doctor Brass. He's kind of like he wants to turn things into brass. That's kind of the. That's kind of the plot of the film that I'm kind of running through in my head. He wants, he turns things into brass, which is, no one, no one wants that. No one uses brass anymore. You never hear about it. You never hear, so, unless it's a very old property, someone might have a brass doorknob. You very rarely hear about brass. It's very 70s. So that's why the British government saying to Bond, you've got to stop this guy. He's turning things into brass. You know, it would be fine. If he was turning things into gold, like Midas or whoever that guy was, King Midas. Turn things into gold. He's already a king. Or maybe that's how he became a king. 
But you'd think, okay, imagine Charles did that. King Charles, God bless, honest, still alive. Um, king Charles, he's already the king. And he went, oh, I can turn stuff into gold. Can it, what, you've not got enough? Anyway, I, I digress, um, Hollywood executives. So I'm just going to um, uh, audition now for, that, was, that scene was where I'd challenged Dr. Brass. The next scene is where I do a quip um, once I've dispatched a baddie. Um, uh, dispatch killed. It's just a polite way of saying killed. Um, I don't mean I wrapped him up and posted him with DHL. I just mean I, ki I literally, I, ki I murdered, I basically murdered someone. I dispatched a birdie, um, a henchman. Um, so I just, uh, so, and I'm just going to say a quip. So um, let's say, let's say I've, let's say I've killed him with a, with a pin. Let's say I've just killed a henchman with a massive pin. I could tell you the details of that, but it'd take too long. So I've killed a henchman with a massive pin. I've like rammed it through his body. And I'd say like this, hmm, looks like someone stuck a pin in it. And I want that whole shot to kind of give the, and the audience at that point really cracking up. I've got a few different ones like that. Um, things like, um, perhaps, I'd, perhaps I'd go to a baddie, you better li you put a blindfold around him and then push him into a ditch that he could easily jump over. And then I'd go, you should have looked before you leaped, leapt. I'd say leapt in the actual take. And if I said leaped, we'd do a second take. Um, you, whichever option you want. So anyway, um, that's my, um, uh, that's my um, audition. Um, I hope to hear back from you very soon. Um, thank you for your time. <laughs> time to die. <laughs> Not for you or me, hopefully. We'll see. All right. I mean, I, just, I think we'll both be fine for a while anyway. Who knows these days. But anyway, that's my audition. Um, get in touch. Um, and um, yeah, okay. Thanks a lot.